going on YouTube welcome back we are finally back um, in this gameplay in this video that I'm about to present I'm gonna be playing Vos in the final four of PS5 LCQ if you saw it you saw it Vos was streaming this game and uh, I mean it was so much hype around this game I believe he had like 1,000 or maybe even more than that people watching this gameplay um, it's a really good game I got some analysis for you and man it, it's it's such a tough game man like it's such a tough game like I said, final four of the LCQ. I did play spam in the round before this. I knocked him out. I was pretty surprised because he always gives me trouble in, you know, high competitive matches. And I believe this was our first time matching up in MCS. Um, he was always chirping at me saying, you know, uh, I like I got a top ride on you in this and a third. I end up beating them. Um, I can show you guys that gameplay if you want. And then I've also got some Gulag gameplays and other highly competitive tourney matches. If you want to see that, smash that like button and comment and I got you guys with the gameplay. But uh, enough chatting, let's get into this gameplay and let me break down some high level Madden versus Vos13. Alright guys, uh, quick thing to remember is that he is host in this gameplay. We were on PS5. There's not really too much lag or delay, but I mean I always prefer to be host especially on the west coast side i feel like it gives my opponent maybe a little bit of trouble when they are playing me so you can start off the ball on defense start off the game on defense vos is in the washington bunch and quick thing to remember he only runs bunch you know he doesn't run um you know tie he doesn't audible around and he's noticed we're on a quick third down and 10 this game play we're gonna be running zone we're gonna be running man and there he goes hitting us with the first out of the game pretty bad user i uh you know i strafed right there i don't think i was supposed to and it ended up being a completion for him uh crossing route with the angle route coming underneath a great concept in this game uh second and 14 right here this this first whole drive we actually play decent defense but you know he's just gonna kind of like you know make his way i see right here he's a gritty grindy player third and inches he's gonna go into fullback dive he's not messing around he's trying to convert each and every first down that or each and every third down he gets on right there vertical is quick flat and right here we have a pretty bad user we stray for no reason i think my adjustments messed up that's just an easy touchdown when it gets pretty tough to score down there in that area so um i definitely got to account for the tight end and i got to improve my user looking back on this gameplay i could already tell like my user was kind of tripping out but it's all good we could we could definitely get some points on this drive and you know it'll be a zero zero ball game uh quick thing to mention we do get ball a half uh we are in the colts playbook so i run a lot of colts i run a lot of rams ebooks on those coming out pretty much the same playbook a uh, couple things are missing but i got you with both plays if you are interested in that um right here running a lot of bunch trail he's in man coverage that angle route is going to be really nice to hit and you know i got corner routes all around the uh place see right here big third and seven he puts his dt in a vert hook he's screaming at me and we just thread the needle to cd lamb he gets it done for us and as you see guys i have mark brunel at quarterback um he's just so ap efficient man and this was like the second day of him releasing and you know he doesn't have slinger on him but i feel like with that slinger one release i feel like he could get the job done but like i was saying mark brunell is so ap efficient i have two post-ups i think with uh this quarterback which you know if you know the madden from now by now post-ups are a really good ability especially when they come out for discounted prices last year everyone was spamming the post-ups i believe the year before people had post-ups on too uh, it's right here we're kind of bagged we could step up we end up throwing a beam to herman moore that was that flood play we kind of had like two slants two in routes going across the field he ran zone with man abilities you know therefore not having any ko's right here really bad user i thought for some reason my slot corner would stick his slot receiver herman moore but that just wasn't the case and unfortunately it goes for six so after a pretty you know like good bounce back drive we end up giving a touchdown quickly like that and um you know that was one thing about this gameplay my defense was not in place and even right now to this day I've, i don't feel that confident on defense in this madden it's just so tough to you know i, I want to run hybrid i that's the type of player i am i want to make adjustments and man people up while running zone and with the ability the abilities in this year's madden is right here we have a touchdown but there goes mark brunel with the set feet lead no slinger we are not able to complete that pass right here we try to go for it again and get a good you know catch animation we just don't he gets the knockout so at this point in time i wasn't too stressed right i wasn't too stressed right here he throws that out I, I wanted to ko 
just didn't get it i'm not too stressed i do get ball a half we could play some good red zone defense and i'm not too stressed so right here he's you know just trying to score a touchdown i thought he would run the ball a few times to take some timeouts but in reality it really isn't going to do much right here i wasn't too i wasn't too happy about that play i had a cloud flat right there and he just isn't guarding him and the fact of the matter is he got all the way up to the two yard line and from here Vos gets in fullback dive and we get a crucial stop that's those are the type of stops that win you games and tournaments right here i'm not gonna lie that should have been a pick somehow he drops it i don't know how Camardi went crazy like that but he did and I, I definitely dodged the bullet that was our first break of the game right here we need to get this first down we get the beautiful animation we could have gotten out but honestly it probably works better for us i kind of want to make this final drive of the half and you know just go into half with a tie ball game and also get ball out of half so right here second and 12 and we're just abusing this running back wheel ride that's one thing about these man uh defenses these cover zero defenses with the all-out blitz the running back is going to be open at times their user really has to you know have a good user and pick up those running back routes and it's just hard when you have a running back out route angle route wheel route there's so many running back routes to account for and they're so fast so uh big tip is you know just abuse a running back right here we dial up a complete steamer he has a ko man ko in this vicinity and hindsight that wasn't the best spacing but thankfully cd lamb who has been coming up clutch in the nfl playoffs who's been coming up clutch for me in this gameplay came up clutch one more time and the big thing right here is i cannot allow a touchdown or a field goal right there that could have been a pick i'm not gonna lie denzel ward kind of went crazy in that zone um he kind of just threw it prematurely right here we got a big I don't know. I strafed. I feel like I, I, I could have gotten bombed. I don't know what I was doing my user. I was strafing for no reason. Once more, we strafe again. Um, thankfully, Denzel Ward once more makes a play. And, you know, we're nine seconds away from kind of like uh, escaping a brutal half. That play right there helped me quite a bit. And he ends up punting. And that's going to be the half. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Vose is outplaying me at the current moment. The first half was his. But it's time to, you know, it's time to take advantage of what the score is and what we got. So we're going to definitely run the ball quite a bit. And we're just going to take what he gives us. Uh, you see me right here in the Colts playbook, audibling to this flood play a lot. And I noticed what he was doing in the first half. He was kind of leaving this uh, square receiver, you know, unintended. I had him on the deep play a couple times, but Burnell just couldn't hit the read. So right there, I just end up putting him on a streak. And he completely burns his linebacker steve atwater who i believe is what 94 95 speed we highball it to make sure that we get a good animation and ends up you know working out for us perfectly so i mean somehow somehow some way we have the lead right here he has everything open but you know the pressure finally gets there clowny is making a difference right here like i said i was in the zone coverage uh i was just trying to mix up looks and i it, like right here we do a sister concept to the right and it just it was just so tough to play defense against Vos, he was just running combos that you never really see and then he's in washington too so he could really space out the field right here he ends up throwing a book he had everything open except that i think he highballed it and this is the biggest play of the game could Cromarty get out could Cromarty get out cd lamb makes a hell of a tackle i mean if Cromarty gets out it's all the momentum in the world he's down by two touchdowns and it's just it's a numbers game from there right here we get a gapped b gap whatever you want to say it really just wasn't a good play i shouldn't have called that play and then third down we end up just getting bagged getting screamed at and we had to settle for a field goal so right there that that absolutely changed the game cromarty not getting seven on that pick interception um and you'll just see like right here Vos, he knows like he's got to go he's hitting me with a no huddle uh everything is open but you know we got to eliminate the big play so he ends up hitting the angle route it still gets like 15 to 20 yards on that and see right here i'm getting quick act. i'm getting quick act. i'm getting quick act. and at least we're making tackles some plays you know he's able to go crazy on that balance feature right here high ball dot and that's that clear out for you man it's very very tough to run zone versus clear out we decided to switch it up and run wide in the red zone right here not the best read i feel like i could have got a pick artist with calvin but you know it is what it is he completes it right here flat route against my cloud and he stiff arms me to get into the end zone right there i need to make a tackle that you know prevent him from obviously one scoring and two you know scoring fast like if i if i make that tackle right there that's another 10 20 seconds off the clock i could get in you know some heavy goal line defense where it's gonna be hard for him to run the ball and you know hit those flats and right here already a third and eight we go to our bunch trail route this is a tough read we get a great animation his ko doesn't ko um right here not the best play i've dialed up 
we end up just throwing the ball away. Probably should have ran the ball right there, but you know, it doesn't really matter. You just got to think of the next play. Slant route right here. CD Lamb once more in the slot. Zero AP short in. He goes crazy. Vose is getting desperate at this point. Great cutback by me right there. I'm not going to lie. That was a great cutback, and we stay in balance. I want to clock this game. In reality, all we have to do is score seven, and we win. I don't know why. I was, I was thinking about just clocking this game out. But in reality, like I said, all we needed was seven to win the game. Right here, we had whoever that was down there. I think Herman Moore in the corner out, breaking open. We, we just aren't able to hit him. Right here, Brunel. Step up in the pocket. I didn't realize he had a KO on that wheel route. So we're like, all right, F this. We got to go for this. Boom, Herman Moore with the slant route. I run backwards a little bit to kind of, you know, take up that clock. And also, you know, just not get too close to the red zone because it gets really tough to score down there. Right here, run the ball on first and 10. Right here, we're going to run the ball to the left side, which in hindsight, we shouldn't have done. The handoff was very slow. Third and 11, we dial up bunch trail. I thought we we're going to get a nice animation, nice click on, but we don't. And we had to settle for three. So two things I could have done right there. One, I could have just dialed up a better passway. Two, I could have ran the ball and taken more time off the clock. But this is where you, this is where you don't want to be if you're in uh in madden 23 or even in madden 22 it's so hard to get a, a stop in this scenario right here overthrows the drag in reality i probably wanted him to complete that to tackle him in balance right here he gets a nice high ball animation i'm not gonna lie that had me pretty sick because if we ko that that's third and ten but you see right here we're gonna just go into 335 wide we're gonna dial up some nice pressure and you know just just mix up the coverages right here we get pressure but it doesn't come in and he throws a book that could have been the game we got to pick that off right here great defense by me once more screaming i if i you know just tackle the guy or you know get a d-line pick and end the game um but we don't and right here he hits us with a nice little out route and that was pretty sick i'm not gonna lie he was on balance and it just it just hurt because like if we make that tackle it's fourth and one time is ticking right here a broken play he hits the angle route nice let's just make a tackle let's just make a tackle let's just make a tackle we're not able to make a tackle he goes from the 45 to the 19 that was a gain of 26 yards oh man I, at this point in time i was freaking out um you know we're still playing decent defense right we're making it work for it right there could have been a sack 19 seconds left and we just got to get a stop, man. I I'm super nervous right now. We got to get a stop. He ends up throwing the ball away. Uh, 13 seconds left. Third and 10. We decide to run zone. We should have stuck to the man coverage. He wasn't liking the man coverage. Uh, he dials up bunch trail. And please make a tackle, Lord. We don't make a tackle, but it's still fourth and one. And here we go. We died. decide to run coverage. Never run coverage in this scenario, man. You got to blitz. I get clicked onto the Warren Sapp. He hits us with that short out elite. Bunch trail. Michael Thomas play and i was it man i was distraught i was devastated i was so upset i slammed my controller on the ground i mean i feel like you know i don't know i didn't play the best first half he definitely dominated us in the first half but in the second half i definitely picked things up but it just comes down to the fact that i you know i didn't get seven when i needed to get seven and he got seven twice and he you know just the time ran out i decided not to use my timeouts and I don't know, man. I probably should have used one or two of those timeouts. But I was thinking in my mind, there's just no way, man. This drive has is, is been so funky. It's not. It's been not efficient at all. Uh, he just really, that drive was predicated on him breaking tackles and just, you know, throwing little drags and all that type of stuff. So we're going to rewind the tape real quick. I see right here, guys, he's going to hit us with bunch trail. We run pretty good adjustments, I want to say. Like everything on the field was kind of caged. Denzel Ward, all you have to do is make this tackle. We get absolutely stiff-armed. That hurt. And then right here, Warren Sab, we get clicked onto. We just have to run back, run back, run back. He makes the read, which, you know, it could have got KO'd. It should have got KO'd. That's fine. Make a tackle, and we're going to have no amount of time. He hits us with a double juke, and, bro, that's just insane, man. I was like, bro, all we had to do was make a tackle. He made, like, five people miss, and, man. And then finally for the game... I get clicked on to Warren Sapp. I know I have to go guard the angle route. Calvin Johnson is just caught with his pants down. He was in a outside third. But, I mean, I don't even think I, that would have guarded it. I should have ran zone. Should have sent five out of cover two. And that would have been game. So, shout out to Vos. He didn't end up winning it all. He lost to Kiv in the finals. But, I mean, still, this was really good for him. 
And, you know, I'm not too mad about the way I lost. I feel like I'm playing insane Madden right now. But this is the first time I haven't made Madden Bowl since, like, Madden 18. So that's what, like, Madden 19, Madden 20, Madden 21, Madden 23. So that's four years in a row making the Madden Bowl. It's going to suck sitting it out, especially with it being in person. But it is what it is. Once more, GG Zavos. He definitely fought this game. Can't even complain. And, you know, I don't know. I might have even, I would have lost to Kiv. We don't know. Uh, you can't say I would have been in the bowl. Kiv is in the bowl, so I'll be rooting for him. Till next time, guys, if you want more content, keep me busy with those likes and those comments. I need to do stuff this whole offseason. It's a long offseason for your boy.